So you mentioned network marketing several times yes, in, in, uh, in your answer there. I know you know a lot about it. Sure, um, and a, a lot of people in network marketing, I think, have a little bit of an inferiority complex because of the mistakes that other people have made in the past, yeah. a little bit of the branding stuff. Um, my opinion is, if you have an entrepreneurial bone in your body, for the average person, this is better as a way to flex your entrepreneurial muscle than, than the other forms of entrepreneurship available to the average person. It's absolutely true. First of all, the reason I brought it up is because I would want people to know I've dealt with the same thing, like motivation. It's not even what I do. Like all these idiots that have happened before me who've got up there and really not added value with just some pump up. So that's what people assume they're going to get. And very similarly in network marketing, you have that as well. But let's just be real. I mean, the bottom line is if you've joined the right organization and they've got a track record and that track record is showing that they have real customers, that they aren't just some pyramid scheme, you can knock that you know, out of the park in two seconds flat if you understand what people's concerns and fears are. But as far as what's important, I, I'm coming here in a week, I'm doing a, you know, my five-day business mastery program. I have you know, uh, 2,000 entrepreneurs from around the world. And I spend probably a good portion of that week or five days convincing people not to go into business because it is so complex to be able to do everything in business. And when you're in network marketing, you get to do what you do best, right? You can do something that's so simple. You can find a product or service that you love, that you know has total integrity, an organization that's great. You can align with that and you don't have to worry about supply chain and you don't have to worry about accounting and you don't have to worry about all the elements that really make a business go. People, when they start a business, there's a reason why the first year 50% of them are gone, you know, in five years, 80% are gone, in 10 years, 96% of all businesses fail. 4% make it. And make it doesn't mean they're profitable. It just means they're still standing. And after 10 years, it's all over. You've made it, right? No. I mean, you look around and you see Lehman Brothers, you know, have been around a century and did a trillion dollars in business over that century and they're gone like that. So it's so complex and people don't know that when they start businesses, why, why so many fail because they go, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm the greatest salesman. I'm making this company go. And they don't understand there's all these other moving parts or I'm the greatest software engineer. I can write code better than anybody. And they may be true but the business is more complex than that. So network marketing allows anyone who just has a love for a product or service and has people they wanna share that with, even if they don't know them, to allow them to expand. The other thing it really does, because everything else is being done for you, you're able to concentrate your power on what matters most. And if you look at any business, I tell everybody, Peter Drucker used to say, business is two things, it's innovation and it's marketing. Well, that's really the job of the person network marketing. You're marketing, you're selling, you're connecting, you're sharing, you're making that impact. And the innovation side, you want to innovate and develop yourself. You want to get better and better as your skill as a leader, as your skill to influence, your skill to coach people, manage people. So that's enough by itself without having to think about the 8 million other aspects that go into business. And I literally tell people that come to seminar, a bunch of you have spent $10,000 to be here. And I'm stressed reading your forms because you're telling me the reason I got in business is so I can have more free time. It's like, that's like saying I want to have a child so I can have more free time. My job is to get you out of business or get you with a partner because it's so much more complex. And well, network marketing, you have this incredible partner in the institution that you're a part of and you're able to focus on your primary skills. Yeah, well, why do you think, so, I think a tipping point has happened. Uh, uh, yes, we talked about it yeah. before inside of the network marketing profession that it's becoming more of a profession. There's higher level people getting involved. It's not just all broke people with yeah. no place else to no, go that are getting involved. Why do you think that's happened recently? Well, there's disruption. I mean, you've seen what's happened over the last five years in terms of the economy, and um, more is coming primarily because of technology. Um, you know, I'm, I'm an investor in a lot of firms. I have 33 companies now to give you an idea. And, about a third of them are all in the technology business and the stem cell business and, you know, and understanding the human genome, all the different parts of the nanotechnology I'm involved with, um, virtual reality of some of the best companies in those areas. And what I can tell you right now is there's, there was a research project that just came out the other day that showed that since 1960, 59% of those jobs that were around in 1960 don't even exist anymore, right? Telephone operators, all these different things, right? When's the last time you called your secretary and said, take a, take a note? <laughs> you just don't do that. You tell Siri and she prints it out instantaneously for you, you know? So, What's happening now, according to Oxford, is they're saying the next 10 years, 49% that fast. It'll be much faster. 60 years to 2017, 1960, 27, you know, 50 years, you know, a little more than 50 years, that experience you could deal with. This is going to happen in five or 10 years or half the jobs are going. And they're going from AIs, you know, artificial intelligence that can do things. It's not just blue-collar workers, and it's the robots and the blue-collar workers as well. So I'll give an example. Right now, um, 
if you're an Uber driver, right? And, or you're a taxi driver, you're a truck driver. We all know what's coming. It's not hard to figure out. Elon Musk right now is working at Paso Law where I live in Palm Beach in Florida. If it passes, my wife's Tesla will drive itself next year. It's just a simple download and it'll do it. Right now, not five, 10 years in the future because he's gathering all that information because all those cars are bringing in more data that are making these things operate more rapidly. Well, who in let's say five years, worst case 10 years, but most people say less than five, who's gonna hire a truck driver who can only work eight hours a day legally because he's gotta sleep and everything else, whose insurance is expensive, who might be a pain in the ass, and when I can have a 24 hour day truck that'll drive and I get to depreciate it. I mean, it's not gonna happen. So there's five million people in that category. There's four million people in the farming industry that technology we currently have will wipe out immediately. If you just took two of those industries, it's nine million people. Seven million people lost their jobs during the Great Recession when we looked like the world was ending. That's two industries. So they're all going to have to find a place to be able to function, and it's really got to start their own businesses because there aren't that many other jobs that are out there. There's high-tech jobs, there's certain technology, but there's always a need because everything on Earth that you see, this room, my buddy Steve Wynn, that painting, this carpet, this building, Everything you see, these cameras were all sold. The entire economy is driven by somebody who can sell. And selling is really just sharing when it's a network park marketing experience because you're trying to give someone an experience of something that can change their life. And so when I look at that, I say, you'd be crazy not to do it. And also, you're going to see more and more high-level people come as the disruption comes. I think the next five years will be a huge boon for many industries, but the network marketing industry will certainly be one of them.